Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. Today, we're gonna to be working on a beautiful spring tablescape. For those of you who are new to my channel or don't know, I own a furniture store in Houston called Village Antiques and also Farmhouse by Amitha. We tend to get in some beautiful seasonal decor for the spring and then later on in the year for the holidays. And this year's selection is so beautiful, I was very excited to bring it home and show you how I'm gonna style my own home with some of these new arrivals. Now I know you're gonna love all of the things I'm gonna show you today because as my husband was getting ready to leave for work, he stopped in his tracks and couldn't wait to touch and feel everything and even just started to put this tablescape together. So let's get started. The very first thing that I love to do when I'm working on a tablescape is to think about bringing in some sort of textiles or fabric. So this might be with a tablecloth, napkins that you're gonna use, or one of my favorite design hacks is with the use of a runner. This is gonna bring in the style of the season, give you that softness, that texture that you wanna bring onto your table, but also make your table functional and easy to clean up after meals. Most of our homes tend to read a little bit neutral, and so for that reason, I love pieces like this that have that beautiful neutral backdrop, but little pops of detail like this gorgeous, cruel, embroidered blue leaf detail that you're seeing here on the edges of this runner. This is what's gonna help me feel confident by layering lots of color in my spring decor and have that little pop of detail that blends beautifully with both neutral and a beautiful color palette. We're here in my breakfast room, which is obviously used for eating, but is also a very multi-purpose room in our home. My kids do their homework and their projects here and eat most of their meals here. So I wanna make this beautiful and kid-friendly. So on this tablescape, I'm actually going to add one more layer to my flat surfaces by putting down a set of placemats that's gonna go beautifully with this design. I don't have these exact ones available at my shop, but we do have a beautiful collection of spring and summer inspired placemats that you can do this exact same project with. The great thing about putting all of these elements down, what it's gonna do for you is reduce the amount of space that you have available here in the middle. So you're not overwhelmed wondering, what should I pull out? What should I go buy? How many pieces do I need? Now we are ready to move on to probably the part you've been waiting for, the centerpiece design of this table. I wanna give you a couple of quick tips so you can think of what to look for to create a centerpiece with. Some of my favorite items include dough bowls. Dough bowls are a great way to create an easy one and done centerpiece idea. A beautiful centerpiece bowl filled with gorgeous flowers that you can pick up from your local grocery store. Maybe an exaggerated vase filled with some greens just to give that drama to your table. Or some seasonal decor, which is what I'm gonna be adding onto this table. Here you can see this beautiful Easter rabbit that I'm gonna be building my centerpiece around. This is an artisan style handmade piece of decor that blends beautifully with the style of my home and the style of my shop, which is why I knew I had to have this both there and here. You're looking at these incredible details like his fur, his spectacles, I mean, come on y'all, spectacles. He's wearing a pink velvet vest. He's doing some paper mache Easter eggs. And he has a little sign here talking about the services he has to offer, which are custom made paper mache Easter eggs. Now, if this doesn't say warmth and fun and youthfulness and Easter, I really don't know what else will. He's so cute, you could stop right here. But whenever I'm working on a centerpiece, I love to work in multiples of generally three when I'm adding decor around my centerpiece. I just tend to stick to odd numbers. So one, three, or five. As I'm looking at what I should use to style this table, I'm guided by a couple of principles. Number one, I wanna keep this one really easy and simple so it stays functional and not too much high maintenance during the spring season. And then number two, I wanna make sure I'm tying into the colors that I've already introduced onto my table. Guided by those two things, I'm gonna look around at the decor that I have and bring in pieces that are gonna keep this project easy and go with what I'm working with. You probably have seen that I use a lot of beautiful silvery antique glass whenever I'm working on a project. And this season we have this really beautiful pale blue opaline colored glass that has the same style but brings in some gorgeous colors that I haven't seen before. This is actually something an artisan created for our collection but it's very much in the vintage style. Now I pulled this one specifically because it's got the florals and of course we wanna feel the spring 
string with our decor. And then the colors are very well matching with the bunny. So that's what I'm gonna bring into this collection here to add that third element to my table. But again, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna pull some seasonal fruit because my boys actually love eating that when they come home from school. So this will be healthy and beautiful. Now these little bowls come in handy for when you wanna do a small floral arrangement or maybe use it as a little candy jar or in this case, I'm gonna to try to bring in some greens because we are talking about the spring season. So I have a really beautiful boxwood. Looking at the scale of these together, I don't want them to compete with the bunny, but I do want this little pop of greenery on my table. So I'm just gonna bring him a little bit diagonally and back. So that's gonna give just that little pop of green on our table. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna keep this project super simple. So you could stop right here, or if you're inclined to bring in a fresh bloom or a fresh flower from your garden, you can easily put a little bud vase and just one or two stems to keep that natural freshness on your table. And there you have it, a beautiful spring tablescape. Now I know this says Easter, but this is so charming and so beautiful. I imagine seeing this all spring long. If you love the pieces that you're seeing here, you can find these over at my shop, Village Antiques or Farmhouse by Amitha. If you're in Houston, just come over and stop on by. We'd love to show you all of the beautiful new arrivals that have just come in. If you're not local, be sure to follow us on Instagram because that's where we post pictures of all of these beautiful new things that we're getting in. Or just feel free to give us a call and we'd love to help you work on your home. If you enjoyed watching today's video, be sure to give this a thumbs up. That helps me know that you enjoy and love this type of content. Then when you're done, hit the subscribe or the follow button, and then be sure to ring the bell so you don't miss another one of my inspiring episodes. After that, I want you to head over to my blog where you can sign up to receive your free design newsletter and soak in endless hours of design tips that are gonna help you make your dream home come true. Till the next time we meet, keep using your amazing gifts to create heart in your home. Oh wait, do I need to do it from the beginning? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and Coco. <laughs> he heard us. Almost done. The whole house knows. It's like, doo doo doo. <laughs> Is that how you say it? A little bit diagonally and back. <laughs> back diagonally. No, I can't even say it that way. <laughs> you don't want me to take a video of you styling my table? But you're doing such a good job of it. I don't know how to do it. Well, I won't share your creation until after, but you're no, doing a great job. At all. <laughs> it's just some ideas that I have.